In the words of Wendy Williams, how you doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, I'm Kenneth. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe, okay? So to this video, we're just gonna have a sit down and I really wanna have a heart to heart while I clean the kitchen and talk to you about surviving Canada. I have been in Canada for the past one year and two months ongoing. A lot has happened, believe you me. And I'm still processing. There's a lot I'm trying to intentionally forget and move on. But I'm feeling like I have to just wallow in it, especially being a newly minted 27 year old who didn't achieve his goal of being a billionaire 25. Um, yeah, still still hotting from that but let's see we still have more years to catch up on anyway a lot have happened like i said i graduated i have a bsc in computer science um can someone clap for me please because you're talking to a previously you know renowned dropout that has a bsc you know aka a graduate um and shout out to my parents for running around trying to get that degree because i'm not currently in nigeria and also shout out to the open university of nigeria for allowing me to write my exams while in canada um yeah so that has been that has been a year and i haven't really celebrated that i haven't really you know i don't know uh, a lot has been happening anyway i thought to make this video while i am cleaning the kitchen and um giving proof that i do clean the kitchen to my flatmate <laughs> i'm just joking anyway so it's been a year and two months. I am currently looking for work. I am currently trying to make sense of my life. I am 27 and I don't know what I'm doing. And it's sort of confusing for me because I want to be a digital marketer. I want to be a software engineer. I want to be a data scientist. I want to be a content creator. I want to own a business. A lot just goes through my mind and sometimes it's hard to focus and you know pick apart and all you have to do is just think and sometimes laugh like a weird person <laughs> you know and get back to work and Canada is one of those countries where you see a lot of promises on YouTube and you come and you realize that reality a lot was expected from reality right and you have to navigate you have to figure out um the opportunities that are here how you can harness them and while going through you know your ability to stabilize um, especially if you're all alone like me well i wasn't alone for the first one year but right now i am sort of like alone yeah um your friends are not nearby um there's time difference and it can just be overwhelming and you're trying to find jobs on kijiji if you, anyone who knows about kijiji or if you're nigerian planning to get jobs um start searching on kijiji just know that website before you come to canada anyway and uh, you're trying to wonder if your cv is done well especially if for the past for the past five years you've never really had a problem getting work you know and now you're submitting your cvs and you're getting all this bunch of rejection letters even to be like a customer service agent or to work as a sales rep or at the counter at an eatery and you're like sorry we cannot accept you and you're like to clean you're rejecting my cv like make it make sense and you're like am i do i need to downgrade my qualifications do i need to reduce my experiences do i need to tweak my cv in a certain way um and you're just like when will this end you know the other day i was on the bus ride going somewhere and i saw this lady you know going on a bicycle ride um at 4 p.m on a saturday and i was like when will i get that level of peace you know where i'm not worrying about 
what comes next, what I have to do next, um, am I being productive, you know, am I wasting time, I mean, for me, there's always been like a fire lit under my butt, <laughs> for lack of a better term, and even watching Netflix or just relaxing, I sort of like, this nagging voice in my head like oh my god you could be watching a tutorial you could be doing something like you are mediocre you know you need to be more consistent you need to figure out things by now you should be making much impact as you think you should right and this is not me comparing myself to anyone i'm not necessarily comparing myself it's just that i have this feeling that i have a lot of impact to make and sometimes I am letting myself down by not being able to figure it out fast and it just also reminds me of like decisions you make come to Canada was not planned for me it was sort of like abrupt I had to one day you know leave Nigeria and be here and yeah that it, it was it's still a lot to figure out um so it's just allowing myself to breathe allowing myself to wallow and sometimes you know you look at some surprising numbers um but yeah i would like to know if any other if any other person out there feels the same way you know you newly moved to a country or are thinking to you know immigrate japa or whatever you want to call it for better opportunities i mean there are better opportunities out there i feel like there are a lot of opportunities here for me and all i need is just one door to open and i'll be great with all that said and done i just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe um yeah Looking forward to more content I make and looking forward to, you know, this being not in my head and overthinking things a lot. But yeah, see you guys in the next one.